Alrighty then, ladies and gents. The time has come for us to do the fourth class trial. The murder case of Mui Ruma. And, well, before we begin this, I definitely have some stuff to say about the skills that I got lately, because holy mother of god. So, you remember that I've been doing quite a bit of free time, including Himiko, Kibo, Maki, and other people like Okichi, Mew, and some other stuff. And I've got some skills from them. And <laughs> there is this one skill that just... It just amazes me. I mean, can you guess what skill I got that really surprises me? Yeah, well, no fucking shit. It is Himiko's skill over here. Abacadabra. <laughs> Look at what it says over here. After enough time, the correct truth bullet will be shown. Effective during non-stop debate, mass panel debates, and rebuttal showdowns. Basically what it says is that... If I don't know what truth bullet to use in a non-stop debate... Basically Himiko's magic will help me choose the truth bullet that I need in order to solve the debates. Himiko is helping me with her magic to solve the murder case. You have no idea how happy that makes me. Like, you have no idea. Realistically, I mean. Realistically, I do want to have this skill so that I can use it and that way Himiko can help me. Realistically, I do want that. Gameplay-wise, however, I feel like that may end up making the job too easy, but I'm not really sure because it's not very sp it's not very explicit over here. It's not very detailed, because what does it mean when it says after enough time? What does that mean? Is it like, is that like after three cycles? Four or five cycles of dialogue? For me to think of? Because it's after like five and such. I can accept that, because by that time, I would know what truth bullet to, to use. But if it's after like two or three, then mm, I don't know. But, I'm thinking about this. For this particular class trial, I am gonna use Abacadabra. Because I do want- I want to know how it actually works. Not to mention the fact that... Uh, I can't say that... I know... Like, I have any theory as to who killed Mew. I mean, I do know some stuff. As you may have seen in my last video that I made, but... I don't know everything, so I may get the help of Himiko for this. But for me to do that, I need to get rid of some skills that I got over here, because holy fucking shit, I, that, it costs like 24 skills, like 24 points, which I can, I can definitely understand that. Uh, so I'm gonna get rid of this. Let's the murder cursor move freely, no matter how far they open. I don't think I really need that. I think I can do it just fine. Increase the size of slashes. That can help me, I guess. Uh, twin six. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold on to this one, cause that way I'm gonna go through the taxi game much easier. The flash spots. Mm, I, I can, I can go without it. The first letter will be filled in from the beginning. No, no, thank you. I still want to keep the machine gun, because <laughs> I do want to mow down some people, like a negative split. So... Okay, so let me just put this, and there's actually another skill that I want to <laughs> that I want to choose. And that is Maki's uh, skill over here, which tells us that it increases the amount of mono coins obtained after the class trials. This one I'm definitely going to have to equip, but... How the fuck am I gonna do this? <laughs> it costs like 42 points! <sighs> uh, so, what am I supposed to... Increase the recovery speed of the focus gauge? I think I can go without that. And I think that's enough, isn't it? Yep, definitely. <laughs> I am at my limit over here. And I think that I do need all of this stuff over here. So, yep, there's that. I don't think I can get like any other skill in, like in there. I uh, I apologize, <laughs> but yep, I am pretty curious how the abacadabra is gonna work. I am actually pretty curious. I want to see how Himiko is gonna help me in this. But yeah, 
I uh, I have read the triplets and such. I have my theories. We shall see how it will go. Um, difficulty is all on me and such. Let's begin. <laughs> now then, let's begin with a basic explanation. The floorboard didn't do it! I'm just laying it out there. I know that some people were super wary of the thought that the floorboard did it again. But everything is all cool. No need to worry this time. The floorboard didn't do it. Ah, screw it. This is tiresome. Uh. <laughs> oh, good lord. <laughs> Monokuma is... Monokuma is not himself anymore. Jeez. Oh, do you do you need some help, Monokuma? Like may, maybe some Prozac will help you. You need more motivation. Or more Prozac. I do. I really, really do. Now then, let's start this class trial. Before we start, I just want to ask something since there's not a lot of us left. What happens if the votes result in two first places? Two first places? Well, that just... Yeah, I do have to wonder. What does happen if there is a tie? Huh? You mean like... a tie? Maybe I do need a tie to... You would make me look even more fancy. And maybe you will give me more energy. I mean, I wore a suit and tie in the second killing game. Uh, I do miss those times. Where is Monofani anyway? It means they're both the blackened. As long as one of them is correct. It's fine. Well... What do, you, what do you mean, both are the blackened? Well, that's just not correct. If one of them didn't do anything wrong, then they shouldn't be punished. Hell, they shouldn't even be voted in the first place if they didn't kill anyone. I mean, unless we're talking about two killers, but wouldn't that technically eliminate that other rule that... Oy. Decision like that so casually? Yeah, it's fine. Whatever. Thanks. Since that's answered, I can start enjoying this life or death game now. What game? How long are you gonna keep saying that? Just ignore Kokichi. The rest of us need to work together to find the truth. Indeed. We well, just gotta focus. Otherwise, it will take us 15 hours to finish this trial. Got it! We can't die here! Heck yeah! You're right. We shall not die here. Already starting this in high spirits, Himiko. Oh my! Himiko has become so determined! It's true! People really do change! But now she's lost what made her so unique. Um... Ooh, what do you mean? You mean magic? <laughs> Fuck no, she still has it strong. You mean being lazy and having a closed heart? No, thank you. I think, I think we're good without that. I mean, technically... Being lazy and having a closed heart is relatable, but not, un uh, not unique. That's none of your business! Heck yeah, you tell him! We should focus on the class trial. First, we need to clarify... Kaito's the culprit! Yeah. Oh boy, here we go. What? Say that to my face! 
While we were all still logged in, Kaito logged out alone, right? You were able to move freely. Doesn't that mean you could have committed the murder? Don't screw around! There's no way I'm the culprit! Kaito right! Kaito couldn't have killed Mew! How long are you gonna keep saying that? Trusted people can still kill, you know. We already saw that a bunch of times. So many times. Since Kaede. <sighs> You're bringing that type of example again? The fact that Kaito was the only one logged out is suspicious. But he's not the culprit. He cannot be. Yeah, I do have to agree. And let's be honest, even Kokichi knows they couldn't have been Kaito. He's just doing whatever. Just because he logged out doesn't mean it truly was him who did it. And we are gonna prove it! Oh, this... We're already starting the trial with... A perjury. Kaito logged out first by himself. Mew was still logged in though. That's when you poisoned her, right, Kaito? Kaito culprit? Impossible! Of course it's impossible, because I didn't do it! I mean, we found that bottle of poison on Kokichi's seat, didn't we? The culprit was trying to pin the blame on me. That diversion was part of your plan, right, Kaito? Well, Kaito. Any last words? What do you mean, last words? Uh, here we go. Come on. Don't be fooled by Kokichi so early in the trial. Think with your gray cells. First, we need to decide if Mew was killed in the real world of the virtual world. That's where the problem lies. Hmm. Actually, this begs the question, how does the abracadabra skill work in a perjury debate? You know what, that, okay, uh, this is off topic here, we're not talking about what the, what the answer is for the debate, but how does this work actually, because unless you have the same truth bullet that can be used to further the debate in the truth side and the same truth bullet that can be used to lie what if there are like two truth bullets one that can use as truth and one that lie one that can be used as a lie if you reverse it which one will the abracadabra choose will it be the truth one i guess so Mm, that's what I'm thinking here. Kaito logged out first by himself. Mew was still logged in though. That's when you poisoned her, right, Kaito? Kaito culprit? Nah, that's impossible. definitely not true. Of course it's impossible. Oh, it actually. It. I mean, yeah, it actually highlights the truth bullets. Seat, didn't we? <laughs> the culprit was trying to. Oh my right god. Me. That diversion was part of your plan, right, Kaito? That is just awesome. Well, Kaito, any last words? Come on, Himiko. What do you mean, last words? <laughs> you know what Himiko is trying to do here? She is trying to fool us a little bit. I think. I don't know why. I mean, maybe she's testing Shuichi. She's testing us. By by pretending that she has the wrong answer but she's actually giving us the right answer through the truth bullet oh my god <laughs> she's hiding the fact that she's smart <laughs> she's oh my god <laughs> we're learning some more stuff about himiko today apparently <laughs> but okay yeah i i think i know what the, what the truth is but what about the lie that's when you poisoned her right kind of Kaito culprit? Impossible! Of course it's impossible, because I didn't do it! I mean, we found that bottle of poison on Kokichi's seat, didn't we? The culprit was trying to pin the blame on me! That diversion was part of your plan, right, Kaito? Well, Kaito, 
any last words. What do you mean, last words? Yeah. I don't feel like it. I don't feel like lying. You was still in though. Right, Kaido. Uh, there you go. Ah, I hit the. I didn't hit the V point. Yeah, I don't give a fuck about lying. I don't. I'm not in the mood. Mew wasn't killed by poison, and the warning on the label proves it. Oh, there you go. Yeah, it did say some stuff about conjunct conjunctionosis and you know Hemara too, and you know b bloodshot eyes as one of the symptoms, and Mew had no red eyes. Drinking the poison would result in subconjunctival hemorrhaging. Yeah, uh, what he said. In other words, your eyes would be bloodshot. Oh, but Mew's body... That's right. Her eyes weren't bloodshot. She wasn't killed by that poison. Then what was that poison for? Mm -hmm. One possibility would be to distract us from the real cause of death. Probably a diversion. The culprit wanted us to think Mew died by poison. Or... Then, what was her real cause of death? Mew's real cause of death... The only one I can think of is... Well... I would personally say that it was some form of strangulation. But I cannot say for sure, given that... I haven't found anything that can be used for that. I mean, we can definitely say that it was the virtual road that killed her in the end. It was something inside the killing game simulator that killed her. I mean, we can definitely say that too. It wasn't something from the outside. It was the virtual road itself because it causes like shock to the body. If she wasn't poisoned, then what was it? Hmm. Her body wasn't injured either. I was wrong! Oh, staring at me. I screwed up. They think I'm a fraud. Okay, like, what do you mean everyone's staring at you? You haven't said anything yet. You are thinking, right? <laughs> it's not like you chose something wrong and... Everyone's staring at you because you said something stupid. Bottle of poison. Unless it was a glitch? It was a glitch that killed her? The toilet paper. Um... The hammer? But no, in that case... She wouldn't have died in that position. Actually, let me just see. Let me just choose this. Hey, that's from the virtual road. <laughs> you probably need a lot of time explaining to Kaito because of his fix thick ass skull. Uh. Yeah, but it was a weapon that was in the virtual world. People can die inside the virtual world. And it can be a weapon from inside the virtual world. Well, unless we're talking about the virtual world itself. Yeah, I guess so. Let me just choose this then. Let's see. This is it! Yeah, okay. 
Mew's cause of death was the killing game simulator itself. But that still doesn't answer the question. What was used to kill Mew inside the killing game simulator? In the virtual world, if your avatar takes fatal damage, your real body dies of shock. That was made clear in the program's text file. Miyu received fatal damage in the virtual world and died from that shock. In that case, it's fair to say that the cause of death was actually the simulator. Yeah, but something had to have been inside the simulator that killed her avatar. That actually made it so that the simulator kills Mew. But what? Um, Gonta has question. Hmm? Yes, Gonta? Where is this virtual world place? What floor is it on? Um... I, uh... I kind of... Well... It's... It's inside... Well, it's inside the giant computer, if you think about it. If you don't understand, then don't say anything. No, 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 hold on a second. I think it's fair to explain this to him, you know. Just so that he can help us. We cannot just leave him clueless like that. I mean, he was in the virtual world too, so we do need his thoughts. If Mew was killed in the virtual world, then the next thing we need to figure out is what caused her to incur fatal damage within the virtual world. That is something I'm curious about as well. I mean, could it be when she hit the wall? It could be. But then what is the deal with the positioning of her hands in the real world? So her cause of death in the virtual world is the one that matters. Uh, um... Uh, it seems like Gonte is confused. So why don't we review things a bit? Okay. Um, let me try. Let, let me try a little bit here. See if I can. See if I can help Gonta with this. Mm, Mew was killed. Mew was killed. And she definitely died on the chair, but not quite literally died there. Her mind was somewhere else, and that somewhere else is where she died. Um, um Shuichi? Kibo? Can, can I get some help over here, Himiko? Uh. Um, so we split into two groups to find the secret of the outside world. The ones who searched the mansion were me, Shuichi, Samugi, Gonta, that NPC Kaito. Hey, who you call an NPC, you ASS? <laughs> yeah. You're you're being a complete ASS H O L E, you T W A T. And the others who searched the chapel were Keyboy, Maki, Himiko, and the late Mew. How could someone have given her fatal damage in that situation? That's what we gotta think about. Now, let's all work together. Yeah. Aww. Little Himiko is all grown up. Too bad your chest hasn't grown up, though. Hey, no, you, you cut that out. You you cut that out. Like, Mew was the one who insulted her by calling her titless. I don't think we need another person to do the same thing, now that she's gone. Can we cut that out? That was uncalled for! Someday, my chest will grow like crazy! Hey, <laughs> Christ, people. Let's begin, then. Uh, the fatal damage that Mew received in the virtual world. Let's pin that down. <sighs> Sheesh. The amount of 
boob remarks. It is like it is quite high as of late. In similar fashion to Kibo, I am sort of expecting Himiko to go all. That's boobophobic. Okay. Let's see about this one. Okay, so before I... World, was okay, so it doesn't show us. So let's focus our efforts on that Small first. bottle of poison, moose corpse, signboard used as a bridge. Was dropped right next to her avatar. It has to be the hammer! The hammer? We're going to beat her with his bare hands. Are we certain that blunt force was involved? I think strangulation is more likely. Hmm? It's possible she was pushed from a great height. Hey? Could she have drowned? Hey? Uh, who? We have to determine the specific cause of death. If I think about the condition of Niu's body, that should yield a clue. In the virtual world, Niu was fatally injured. So let's focus our efforts on that first. Whatever did that to Niu was dropped right next to her avatar. It has to be the hammer! We're going to beat her with his bare hands. Hmm. Are we certain that blunt force was involved? I think strangulation is more likely. It's possible she was pushed from a great height. Could she have drowned? <laughs> Hold on a second. World, Before I do this, let me see what happens if I... Let's focus our efforts on that first. Whoever did that to you. Let me see what happens if I right if I agree with Hibiko. What is what is she actually gonna say? Uh oh my god, it moves! Ah shit, Hibiko, no! We're going to beat her with his bare hands. Shiji, you think so too, huh? It seems my third eye saw the truth. The third eye? You have the third eye too? Oh, the eye uh, the eye of the overlord! I knew it! She has the powers of the Overlord of the Tanaka Empire too! <laughs> oh my god! Nah, you gotta remember Mew's body. But she really killed with a hammer. Oh no! I made a mistake. <laughs> I need to think it over again. In the virtual world, Mew was fatally I probably should do this a lot. So let's focus our efforts on that like, first. try to agree with, with people and such. Mew. But the thing is, that lowers my health, of course. Right next to her avatar. It has to be the hammer! Okay, so it says that Mew's corpse is the truth with it. Yeah, more than likely. Wow, you gotta be kidding me! Maki! Why? 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 I was aiming for the fifth fifth point. In the virtual world, Miu was fatally injured. Okay, let's go for this. All right, let's see. Bare hands. All right, let's do this the proper way. Yeah, there you go. I agree. I agree, Maki. Huh. Mew's body showed severe trauma and signs of a struggle. Yeah, she looked like she suffered. Very hard to look at. Right, and the virtual world is connected to our five senses. If her body experienced pain, she must have been in pain in the virtual world as well. Knowing that, I believe Maki is correct. Mew was strangled to death. Mm, indeed. That is what I believe too. The question still remains though. How? Or with what though? Yeah, definitely. Strangling and poison are the only methods that can make her look like she suffocated. But we already removed the possibility of poison. So it can only be strangulation. Also, when a victim is poisoned, they commonly grab their chest or mouth. But Mew was holding her throat. It's obvious she was trying to protect her windpipe. 
Oh. The Assassin Master gets really chatty when it comes to corpses. In that case, her exact cause of death is being strangled in the virtual world. But is strangulation even possible in the virtual world? If the avatars were equally strong, it would be difficult to strangle a resisting victim. Hmm... Difficult, but not impossible. In my eyes, it sort of feels the same as in the real world. You use any kind of object that would be able to strangle them, like, for example, a rope. You don't need to strangle them with your with your hands. Yeah, if she was just as strong as them, no way they could have strangled her. Then the culprit would need a tool. Uh-huh. There are tons of cases where a weaker person would strangle a stronger person with a rope. Mm hmm Wow, you know a lot about killing, nerd. Okay, that doesn't even... <laughs> Whatever. But was there even a rope in that world? I don't remember seeing one. Yeah, me neither. And I can't say that I have found anything that would substitute as a rope. Like... Wire... Or... Maybe you can use clothes to do that too. Then they must have used something else as a rope. Something for a rope, hmm. I have an idea of what it might be. I found it during the investigation. So we found it. Um, well, let's see. Loud noise. No, kidding game scene. With the quartz? No, nah, that would imply that she died in the real world. And she had no strangulation marks from what we saw. Poison? No. News corpse? Oh! Hold on a second! I think I see it now! The objects in the virtual world cannot break! You cannot break pieces off of the toilet paper! Therefore, you can use it as a substitute to the to the rope. Am I right? Let's see. This is it. Oh my fucking god! During the investigation, we found toilet paper outside the mansion. So it was the toilet paper that did it. Is this toilet paper? What would toilet paper be doing here? I'm guessing that the toilet paper was used to strangle her. Gonta, no can ignore Whoa. that! Uh, Gonta? What you mean, Shuichi? Huh? What's wrong? Yeah... Is there... Is there something wrong, Gonta? I mean, do you... Do you have something to... Do you have something to say about the toilet paper? I mean, uh, look, I, I want, I don't want you to think that I believe you are the culprit just because you are near the toilet paper when Shuichi and Tsumugi exited the mansion, okay? It's not that I'm thinking about that, Gonta. I'm not that dense. Like, anybody could have used the toilet paper. What wrong? Shuichi goofing off. Not gentlemanly at all. Uh, okay... Well, bring it on, creature of the holy forest! Let me see that power deep within you! There's no time for nonsense! You know I use toilet paper in place of rope! Would tear too easy! Mm. Even Gonta know that, and Gonta not smart! There's something off about Gonta's statement. 
I should be There's careful. No time for nonsense. Uh. No can use toilet paper. In place of rope. Would tear too easy. Yeah, I do have to agree with Kimiko. Even going to know that, and going to not. It smart. is a kidding game simulator. There's no time for see. nonsense. No can use toilet paper. Let me see if I can cut through your rope. words with a truth. Would tear too easy. With my truth of blade. I mean, blade of truth. I'll cut through your words. The toilet paper wouldn't tear. Because in a virtual world, objects are unbreakable. Unbreakable? Yeah, definitely. Unbreakable. <laughs> You're so dumb, Gonta. You didn't even know that? Okay, shut up, Kokichi. If objects can't break in that world, then toilet paper shouldn't be able to tear. And since it couldn't tear, it could be used as a rope. Ugh. So not only are we not even able to poop in the virtual world, we cannot even break pieces off of it to wipe our asses. I mean, again, what is the point of the toilet paper? I mean, outside of letting cats play with it. 